Hello, we are from Group 3, and we would like to present our material in due to complete our final project in subject of semantic. The title of our material is Sense Properties and Stereotype. So, what is Sense Properties and what is Stereotype? Well, in everyday life, people reach practical agreement on the meanings of almost all the words they use. An effective and successful communication takes place as a result. If a person wants to hinder or obstruct communication, he can begin to quibble over the meanings of everyday words. Although, there may be disagreement about the fine details of the meanings of the words around the edges. We find in the everyday use of language that all words are understood by speakers as having an indispensable hardcore of meaning. Example 1 I saw something strange in the garden this morning. Oh, what is it? An animal perched on the top of the clothes pole. How do you know it was an animal? I saw it. It was a cat. You may have seen a cat, but how can you be sure it was an animal? Well, of course it was an animal. If it was a cat, I don't see how that follows. Answer and comments. The meaning of cat includes that of animal. The kind of meaning we are talking about here is obviously the kind associated with words and sentence by the language system and not the speaker meaning specifically associated with utterances made by speakers on particular occasions. This kind of meaning we call sense. The sense of an expression is indispensable hardcore of meaning. This definition deliberately excludes any influence of context or situation of utterance on the sense of expressions. The sense of an expression can be thought of as the sum of its sense properties and sense relations with other expressions. For the moment, we will concentrate on three important sense properties of sentences. First, the properties of being analytic, of being synthetic, and the last of being contradictory. An analytic sentence is one that is necessarily true as a result of the sense of the words in it. An analytic sentence therefore reflects a tacit or unspoken agreement by speakers of the language about the sense of words in it. A synthetic sentence is one which is not analytic but may be either true or false depending on the way the word is. Analytic sentences are always true or necessarily so by virtue of the sense of the words in them, whereas synthetic sentences can be sometimes true, sometimes false, depending on the circumstances. We now come to contradiction. A contradiction is a sentence that is necessarily false as a result of the sense of the words in it. Thus, a contradiction is in a way the opposite of an analytic sentence. Semanticists are interested in the foundation of everyday communication. People can only communicate meaningfully about everyday matters using informative synthetic sentences because all to the extent that they agree on the meanings of the words in them. This basic agreement on meaning is reflected in analytic sentences, which is what makes them of great interest to semanticists. The notion analytic, synthetic, and contradiction each apply to individual sentences. Analyticity, syntheticity, and contradiction are then sense properties of sentences. For example, that man is human has the sense 
property of analyticity or of being analytic. That man is tall has the sense property of syntheticity or of being synthetic. That man is a woman has the sense property of being a contradiction. Sense properties of sentences. Analyticity depends on the sense properties of and the sense relation between the words they contain. The sense relation between the predicates man and human is known as hypnomy, kind of sense inclusion relationship between predicates. The sense relation between the predicates man and woman is a kind of antonomy or oppositeness. The stereotype of a predicate is a list of the typical characteristic or feature of things to which the predicate may be applied. A stereotype is related to a prototype but is not the same thing. A prototype of elephant is some actual elephant, whereas the stereotype of elephant is a list of the characteristic which describes the prototype. The stereotype of a predicate may often specify a range of possibilities. Example, the range of colors of typical cats. But an individual prototype of this predicate will necessarily take some particular place within this range. Example, black. Another important difference between prototype and stereotype is that a speaker may well know a stereotype for some predicate, such as ghost, witch doctor, flying saucer, but not actually be acquainted with any prototypes of it. Example of stereotype Bird has characteristics like feather, wings, pig, fly, lay egg. Eleven has characteristics like gray, very thick skin, hairless, heavy, with a trunk and two tusks. Stereotype of expression. Four things learned about at second hand. True description rather than direct experience. Or generally known in this way. Important though, the nation of stereotype is in everyday language. It is obviously not so basic to meaning as the idea of sense, which we have defined as an indispensable hardcore of me. Okay, that's all from our material and thank you for listening.